sorry David spread. Sorry David's not working. So you're less than a year. So you start to think I've just had me last Christmas. I'm going to have me last Easter. And you have to come to terms with these things. Well, I had to anyway. I'm David Madison. I'm 70 years old. I live in the south of England. We have a house whereby the garden and finishing off the extension of the house takes up most of my time. The initial problem I had was that I went to the toilet. This is where it gets a bit detailed, but this is how it is. Is I went to the toilet and my urine was bright red. Suddenly it was bright red. That's a hell of a shock. I then went, made an appointment, went to the physician, and about six to eight weeks later, after lots and lots of poking and prodding and God knows what else, along with scans, quite a few blind alleys, finally I was pronounced with bladder cancer outside the bladder. Very much guided by the medical profession, after diagnosis, we then looked to find one of the best keyhole surgeons in the country, particularly kidneys. I think it was about a nine and a half hour operation on me. I went for a scan. About six to eight months later, a tumour had developed where the kidney had been removed and they hadn't got the primary source. It was still there. I then went to see an oncologist who suggested that we go on a course of chemo. I was very apprehensive about going on chemo, but I didn't have a choice. There was no other option. Surgery hadn't worked. So I started on a course of chemo, gemcitamine and uh, cesplatin. And it was a four month course, and it was four months of hell. The debilitating effect of chemo. Unless you actually have been on chemo, you can't describe it. After over 21 hours on the operating table, three lots of major surgery, approximately nine months, a four months and a five months of chemo, 50 consecutive day radiotherapy. At the end of all of this, over five years, I had that interview with the oncologist. The one that says, sorry, Dave, can't do anything. Sorry, Dave, it's the end of the line. And she's in tears because after five years you build a bit of rapport with people. But being the sort of woman she was, that is bloody brilliant. She knew a friend who was also an oncologist and she asked me to go and see this guy because it was possible he may know something different. So I went down to Bart's hospital and I saw Professor Tom Powells. I nearly fell over when I saw a professor, never met one before. And Tom put it quite succinctly to me. Right now, as we sit here, you have a 100% chance of dying. Come on the trial, we'll look after you. You stand a 50-50 chance of living. Well, you know, 50-50 is the best odds that were on the table. So I took them. I was number 24 in the UK to go on this trial. The first time I had chemo, 24 hours later, I was in a hell of a state convulsing and collapsing and I spent seven days in hospital trying to pull me around. When I had my first shot of Texcentric, my wife and I went on the train up to London. They had a breakfast on the train. We went into Bart's. They did the necessary. All over by lunchtime. One hour shot. Hung around in the afternoon to make sure there was nothing. I had no reaction to it. Came home that night. Went to work the next day, no side effects. I had 11 tumours in my body, nine in my right lung, one in the lymph system above my stomach, which was about the size of a plum, and the primary one in my pelvis, which was about the size of a large orange or a grapefruit. After nine shots of Texcentric, 10 of them had gone and the primary tumour had reduced to the size of your thumbnail. My bloods and every, all the other tests they do every three weeks are coming out as superb. My scans are coming out as can't be seen, the tumours can't be seen, apart from the primary one where there's a bit of scar tissue 
around where the tumour was. My life in these last two years has gone from preparing for death to can't get enough of it, love it. That's the difference that the Techcentric has made.